So after what happened this Monday on Raw, WWE Day 1, it's The Rock! He's coming back! And he asked the crowd in San Diego when he goes to get some food, should he sit at a booth, the bar, or at the head of the table? It was a fantastic moment, and the crowd, of course, goes ballistic because they could feel it. They could sense it. And I know I've done a similar video a few months ago talking about this topic, but it is very timely to resurface it, maybe layer a little bit more on it, because the bottom line is, the fact of the matter remains, is that it has to be, it just has to be, Rock versus Roman at WrestleMania. This Cody Rhodes crap can kick rocks. Not even a disrespect to the dude, but God damn. I mean, just on the surface of it, before I go into any other reasons why this has to be the match, would you rather see Cody Rhodes in the WrestleMania main event? Or would you rather see The Fucking Rock in the main event of WrestleMania? Come on. Like, how is this even legitimately a discussion? I don't know. Because WrestleMania is where your biggest matches are supposed to happen. That's where your biggest matches are supposed to happen. Your special attractions, your what would happen if comes to life, your dream matchups. Not to mention that this is also an anniversary WrestleMania. It's WrestleMania 40. The standard has to be higher. And what could realistically be bigger for WWE to give the fans than The Rock versus Roman Reigns? This is the closest chance you have to recreating a Hogan versus Rock type of dynamic. Similar to a decade ago when they were trying to force Rock versus Cena as being a thing and we got two years of WrestleMania main events out of it. It's not that often that you could get a legit, not just dorky fans saying dumb things or people like saying crap, but legit get a dream match that can actually happen. The Rock versus Roman Reigns is legit one of those dream types of matchups. And you're in a place, in a position, if you're WWE, where you could actually do this. You have to do it, and you have to do it now for a bunch of different reasons. First, it's likely now or never for this. Dwayne's going to be 52 in May. Roman's going to be 39 in May. And it's unlikely to think he's ever going to be hotter as an act. Like, if you want to maximize what you can get out of this, the time to strike is now. And then when you talk about finishing the story... Versus an actual story. I'm sorry, but Cody's mantra is really stupid. It's fully forced. I can't believe people buy into this crap. Like even removing if you like Cody, fine. I really don't care. But the whole finish the story. What's the story? And why the hell would anybody care? There's nothing about him or his story that demands a payoff at WrestleMania. It didn't back in April. It doesn't now. And it won't this upcoming April. Get over it. Meanwhile, there are so many legit layers to the Rock versus Roman Reigns story. Like when you want to talk about the story that is more likely to be compelling and interesting in the road to WrestleMania, the build up to WrestleMania, this is it. It's not Cody trying to get a second chance at the strap and Roman at WrestleMania. It's The Rock versus Roman Reigns. How could this even be a debatable point at this moment? They're blood. They're both from the Anua Maivia family tree. Rocky, obviously from the Maivia side. And Roman from the Anua side. They're technically both third generation wrestlers. Part of the same family. Cousins, if you will. Cody and Roman don't have that freaking dynamic. And when you look at so much of what the Roman story's been about, it's been so heavily based on family dynamics with Jimmy and Jay and Solo. 
Alpha, Sika, da, da, da. Now this is like the next level of it. It's a natural progression in the story. These are both top guys from their respective eras. Both had runs early in their careers where uh, they were forced. Fans heavily resented it, turned on them. And they underwent a change in character that led to them becoming the dude. So even just there, there's some similarity in career arc. In terms of going from a forced babyface, crowd resents them, to changing characters, and oh my god, they become the best they've ever been. And I would also argue, by the way, to the Cody Rhodes point, this would even help Cody Rhodes technically, if WWE truly feels a passion like they have to do it. If Roman goes on to beat The Rock at WrestleMania... Then let's say you get to SummerSlam at a time, by the way, where you probably will want something big as you head into the fall before you get into the football season and so forth. You could have Cody then beat Roman and he's at least beat the guy that's now beat The Rock. It's another feather in the cap for a Cody Rhodes. I think it actually plays better at SummerSlam. It's more timely. The payoff is better, in my opinion, at SummerSlam. And at this point, what the hell would be the difference between doing it at WrestleMania 40 versus SummerSlam 2024? Not much. Really isn't. Indistinguishable. Versus the difference of you do Rock versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40 versus potentially never. Come on, folks. This isn't hard to see. Not to mention the fact when we talk about the story and the different layers of it, you could tie directly into the 2015 Royal Rumble. Remember when canceled WWE Network was the number one worldwide trend back when it was Twitter? You remember that? Remember all the controversy, all the fan base hating and pissing on that shit, critics hating and pissing on that shit when Roman Reigns run the Rumble and there's Rock pointing at him and raising his hand at the end of the shit? Do we forget that that happened in Philadelphia? So nine years later, you could have a bit of a full circle thing <laughs> where it's Rock versus Roman in Philadelphia in the same city where that shit happened at the 2015 Royal Rumble. And another thing that fans, I think, are really forgetting about all of this is that a big part of Roman's identity as the tribal chief is due to him being the champion. That's what ultimately makes him the head of the table. The head of the table requires the world title. Like, the best way to go at Roman is to go after him and the thing that he values so closely. He values the most from a kayfabe standpoint. It's the fucking title. It's every part of his identity and his being. So when The Rock says, should he sit at the head of the table? Yeah, that makes sense, right? He's going after Roman. He wants his shot. And he wants his shot at the title. It has to be for the title. For Rock's threat to really matter. The Rock facing Roman Reigns for the no title, no anything, just a family thing, could still work. I don't disagree. It's still in some ways a dream matchup. But to those that are saying that this wouldn't need the belt, doesn't demand the belt, shouldn't have the belt involved, I strongly, respectfully disagree with that shit. Because yes, it does. Because that is so much a part, a piece of the foundation of the identity of the head of the table, the tribal chief. It has to be for the title. I can't see how folks don't see this. It just has to be. And you're seeing a number of people that are trying to cope here. And you, who knows? WWE's done stranger shit. You know, I could be putting the cart before the horse here. But I will go on record as saying this. Doing this at Elimination Chamber would be really dumb, would be really silly. You know, for those that are saying, well, Rock and Roman could face off at Elimination Chamber, then that opens it up for Cody at WrestleMania. No. Look at the time difference between even where I'm at in the East Coast of the U.S., and Perth, Australia. It's a 15-hour time difference. That means that damn pay-per-view is going to start at like 5 a.m. or whenever the hell it's going to start. It's going to start 5 a.m. stateside, maybe 4.30 a.m. So that means you're going to waste The Rock versus Roman Reigns, a dream matchup in Perth, Australia, when the earliest at anybody stateside, which is your biggest and most important audience above all, when most of them are still going to be asleep 
That doesn't make any fucking sense. It just doesn't. Additionally, you'd be burning this match at a secondary pay-per-view. It would seem like a massive waste. Having Rock and Roman make an appearance at Elimination Chamber? Like, obviously, the folks in Australia would want this. Who could fucking blame them? Give that to them. Fine. But the match? This is not an Elimination Chamber-worthy match. This is a WrestleMania-worthy match. Period. Period. And frankly, if we want to go there, you know, the whole shit with Cody last year, really, honestly, let's learn a little bit from the mistake of last year. It should have been Sami Zayn, in my opinion, that faced off with Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. That was the story. That was the most compelling, interesting thing they could do. And instead, they rushed it, they forced it in Elimination Chamber because they just had to give Cody his fucking spot. So this is in part of a creation, a monstrosity of their own doing here. But doing this at Elimination Chamber this year would be ridiculous in my opinion. And what match is more unique, more special? Ultimately, no matter what type of spin you put on it, Cody versus Roman is just going to feel like a predictable repeat of last year. That's it. Rock versus Roman has never happened. And there is at least that infinitesimal chance that they would have the Rock go over. Right? If Cody faces Roman again, they're not having him lose to Roman again. No way. Predictable. Yeah, predictable doesn't always matter. But even if you say, well, there's no way Rock is beating Roman, that's going to be predictable too. Okay, well then if both matches are going to be fucking, outcomes are going to be predictable, give me the match I want to see more. Give me the match that more people would want to see more. Give me the actual legit dream matchup, not a rehash of last year's WrestleMania main event. It's WrestleMania 40. It's supposed to be a little special. It's supposed to have higher standards. That is Rock versus Roman Reigns and the story. And then to this whole concept of star power and attention. Like, WWE is going to want to maximize the attention that they can get for such a special event like WrestleMania 40. What match, what story is going to get more mainstream press for WWE? If you don't know the answer to this, or how important that is to WWE, then you're just being silly at this point. You know that's The Rock versus Roman Reigns. It has to be the match at WrestleMania. Not a night one main event, and then night two you do Roman versus Cody. That would also be stupid. No. Or you do Cody Roman night one, and then you come back with Rock and Roman night two. Roman's already lost. He's no longer the head of the table, the tribal chief. He no longer has the title. It's stupid. No. Get over this fucking Cody Road shit. This is not the time or the place for it. The time and the place at WrestleMania is for The Rock versus Roman Reigns for the title, period. 